Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum to all my lovely students. Let's start with the beautiful name of Almighty Allah who is the most beneficent and the most merciful. So, let's get started. This is your science teacher Ms. Zunayira and today we are back with another lecture of science. So, let's get started. I know that all of you know very well that which chapter we started. We started our one of the important chapter that was light. So in the chapter of light, we have learned so many things regarding light. We know that light is a main source of energy and the main source of light is the sun. Then we started learning about lens. So here comes in a question in front of you that is, what is a lens? When we were learning lens, we came to know two of the imp important things. Number one, it is something which is made of what? Which is made of glass, plastic, and some other transparent materials. Plus, that should be that should be curved in shape. That should be curved in shape. So that would be called as lens. I know I don't know why the students are late. Better please join the class in time, please. Okay, so what is a lens? Lens is something that is made of glass, plastic, or some other transparent material. Plus, that should be curved. That should be curved in shape, so that would be known as lens. Okay, so afterwards, we came to know about two types of lenses. There are two main types of lenses, and they are named as convex lens and concave lens. What are the types? Convex lens and concave lens. After learning about the types of lenses, let's discuss the types one by one. So the type number one was convex lens. So here is the picture of convex lens in front of you. A lens with a surface that curves outward is called convex lens. Now, just look at the diagram over here. This is a kind of transparent material. It, it, it can be made of glass, it can be made of plastic or any other transparent material. Number one. Number two is, it is curved in shape. <clears throat> it is curved in shape. Where is the curve? The curve is outward. So the lens with outward curves is called as convex lens and why do we need convex lens and why do we use it because it has the property to collect the light at a single point so if we want to focus on something we want a thing to be focused like why do we use camera we know that the resolution of camera is very good uh, cameras usually focus on a single thing and they make the background blur why they are focusing on a single point because in the camera convex lens is used and that convex lens is collecting all the light on a single point that point can be any object as well <clears throat> got it so what we have learned about convex lens the lens with the surface that curves outward is called le convex lens plus it collects the light at a single point <clears throat> Another type is there in front of you that is known as concave lens. This is how the concave lens looks like. And here is the definition of it. A lens with a surface that curves inward. It is opposite of convex lens. So the lens that is curved inward is called concave lens. And it spreads the light in different directions. It spreads the light in different directions. Convex lens collects the light at a point. Concave lens spread the light in different directions, okay? Afterwards, we must know that why do we use a lens? What does a lens do actually? When light rays pass through a lens, the light rays change the direction. Okay, let's uh, recall one thing if you have watched the previous lecture. So I told you that light travels in straight line light always travel in a straight line light cannot be bent it's itself but when we use the uh, when we use a lens it what does a lens do lens change the direction of the light 
if we do not use the lens light will keep on traveling in a straight line but when we use a lens it will change the direction so what does a lens do when light rays pass through a lens the light rays change the direction okay so light rays change the direction due to the lens now here comes the difference between convex lens and concave lens one by one we are going to see their difference a lens that is uh, that is having a surface which is curved outward which is curved outward is called convex lens on the other hand here we are having the definition of concave lens a lens with a surface that curves inward convex lens collects the light at a point it collects all the light at a point while concave lens spreads the light in different directions okay now convex lens is also known as converging lens it is also known as converging lens why it is known so because it is converging all the light at a single point so that is why it is also known as converging lens on the other hand the concave lens divert the light in different directions so it is also known as diverging lens okay convex lens the center of the glass piece is thick it is thick from the middle portion of the lens while the edges are thin and it is opposite the center of the glass piece is thin whereas the edges are thick now class we are going to learn another thing regarding light that is reflection you must have heard this term because this is a commonly used term which everybody knows about it i know but we need to give the proper definition to this word so what is reflection when you uh, when you stand in front of the mirror you see your image why that image is appeared that is appeared due to the reflection of the light so what is the reflection when the light rays fall on the surface any surface okay when the light rays fall on the surface some of the rays bounce back some of the rays bounce back and this is called reflection of light here i have given a very simple diagram to you where you can see there is a sun okay what the sun is doing the sun is giving the light rays when these light rays or this light ray strikes to any surface it bends the direction it bounces back it is like action and reaction when we throw the ball uh, uh, towards the towards the wall it comes back to us why because it has striking the wall likewise when light rays fall on some surfaces they bounce back the surface bounce back that light that surface does not allow the light rays to pass through it so that is why the light rays come back they bounce back this bouncing back of light this bouncing back of light is known as reflection of light when light rays fall on the surface the surface bounces back some of the light and this bouncing back of light is actually known as reflection of light okay this is known as reflection of light so here are two of the th uh, two of the surfaces you can compare these two surfaces with one another here you can see the surface is really smooth and the other hand on your right side on the right side of your screen you can see another surface which is not which is not smooth which is not plain that is irregular okay so it depends on the surface as well that how the how light reflects we know that what is the reflection of light the bouncing back this bouncing back can be occurred in any angle that depends on the surface now here you can see on the left uh, diagram you can see that the surface is quite smooth and regular so if light has striken the surface with 45 angle it will bounce back with the same angle because there is no disturbance from the surface of that thing right 
so you can see over here that when light rays fall on the surface and if the surface is if the surface is smooth it will bounce back with the same speed with the same angle while on the other hand you can see some irregular surfaces here is another surface that is quite irregular and rough okay so the bouncing back of light is different here so let's read out this paragraph when a beam of light here uh, we are using this word beam for ray light ray or light beam both are the same thing okay when a beam of light is reflected from a surface it changes the direction as we have come to know okay smooth and shiny smooth and shiny such as polished metals reflect light well while rough and dark surfaces do not reflect light well so let's uh, recall one of our experience that we usually do in our class uh, you people do in your class when uh, you see that there is uh, sunlight coming from the window what what you do you just uh, manage your wrist watch and you make the reflection if you remember the reflection comes on the wall because you are using your wrist watch for this and we know that the upper surface of the wrist watch is quite shiny and smooth so it can reflect the light very well we do this experiment uh, by the mirror as well okay so why the reflection is so perfect because this the surface that we are using is quite smooth and shiny that is smooth and shiny got it so it means the reflection of light is not independent that is dependent on the surface that is dependent on the surface if the surface would, would be smooth and regular and shiny the reflection would be best the reflection would be greater the reflection would be well right on the other hand if the surface is irregular and it is not smooth it is having the zigzag manner so it will not reflect the light the uh, same way as the smooth surface do okay we see things because they reflect light into our eyes this is literally the only way we get uh, we get to see things all objects we see either create light or reflect the light now you are looking at your screens i don't know which gadget you are using you might be using mobile phones and uh, laptops or desktop computer so how you uh, you get to see your screen because the light rays fall on the surfaces of your gadget then it comes into your eyes this reflection is the reflection of light is making it possible uh, for you to see the things so whatever we can see around us that is uh, that is only due to the reflection of light okay now here the example comes again smooth surfaces and smooth surfaces and uh, rough surfaces okay and you can see that smooth surfaces all the angles are perfect all the angles of light rays before bouncing and after bouncing is same and perfect but on the other hand we can see here rough surfaces they are just uh, random why they are random because the surface is not shiny the surface is rough the surface is irregular so this is how it depends on the surface that what surface we are using okay and the light rays what is the reflection the bouncing back of light is called reflection the bouncing back of light is called reflection that depends on surface i hope you have got it so class it is so easy now what we need to do everybody needs to take out the copy which copy you are going to take out you are going to take out your science copy one science copy one i want everyone to take out the science copy one and be alert in the chat box be alert in the chat box okay and just okay you are having your copy too okay okay let me correct it no issue let me correct it take out your copy too and maintain your indices be alert everyone on the chat box let me know if you have done take out your copy too 
signs copy two all the work would be done neatly and cleanly yes sushma you can ask the question okay ask beta okay you are worried for your examination uh beta i cannot say anything regarding your examination that uh, depends when your what is the time when your school would op reopen this kind of information can be collected from counter or the administration of school okay hafsa no problem if you haven't attended your previous uh, virtual classes so you can re, uh, you can watch the lectures that are uploaded on youtube and the link is given in google classroom so if you have missed it so please beta uh, complete your work from there okay so class uh, are you done with indices let me know in the chat box if you have done your index your index would be Question number six till seven. Get ready, everyone. Keep your pencils sharp, your colors sharp. Keep your stationeries with you. Okay. So let's get started. Put the date on the red line. Put the date on red line, everyone. Amna, I would see your uh, diagram in the last. Okay. everybody would make the diagram so what have we learnt about reflection question number 6 is about reflection i want some of you to answer me can you do it please those who want to answer me asher i'm going to uh, give you the access to unmute yourself unmute and uh, unmute yourself and tell me the answer yes i'm sure yes. yes miss yes. miss the answer of this question is a uh, reflection is the image that we see when okay. light uh, bounces back From okay, very good. From our eyes. Okay, very good. And uh, on on any mm -hmm. yes. surface when light bounces back and okay. it shall light over there. Vision is smooth and perfect, but on rough surfaces like uh, grass or uh, mud, yes. uh, the light is not so very well. It's very like it's irregular. Like it's. Okay. Yes, very irregular. Good. Very good. Okay. So, uh, Asher, you have answered me well. Very good, beta. Well done. So, class, as I told you that the image that we see in the mirror when we stand in front of the mirror, we see we see our image that is actually the reflection. Okay. But here we are going to write the general definition of the reflection. Okay. Because we have been given another question as what is an image. So, discussion about image will be done in that one question. here we are just focusing on the simple simple not the simple but the simplest definition of reflection so what we are about to write here first you are going to give the heading of reflection first you are going to give the heading of reflection with your blue color that must be sharp when light rays fall on the surface some of the rays bounce back when light rays fall on the surface some of the uh, some of the rays bounce back and this bouncing back is called uh, is is called this bouncing back of light is called reflection class let me know hamad you wanted to tell me the answer sorry beta i just uh, read your message right now okay let, let me complete the question answers then we'll go ahead okay in the last if we will get time a last some of the students okay ah uh, this work would be done in your copy one that you are having at your home okay very good aisha very good hurry up beta write it 
after writing the answer of this question, what you need to do, take out your scale and pencil. In front of this question, on the blank page, on the blank page, what you are supposed to draw? First, draw the line. Do with me, hurry up. Draw the line that would be straight. What we are doing? We are making it, uh, we are just making a kind of surface that we would show how the reflection of light occurs. Come on, draw this one line like this. That should be straight. Use your scale with this, um, for this. Then what we need to do next, we will make another line like this. Okay, we will make another line like this. As we have drawn here, as we have drawn here the smooth surface, so reflection would be perfect, okay? So of, after drawing this line, make another line like this that would be reflection of light. Come on, are you? After which, Beta Hafsa, no issue if you're attending the class for the first time, all the previous lectures are available on YouTube and the link is given in Google Classroom, okay? Don't be worried about that. Now, what is the incident ray? The ray which is falling on the surface the ray that is falling on the surface will be known as incident ray or the light ray. Come on students, we, we don't have much time. After striking uh, to the surface, it would bounce back. The ray that has been bounced, that would be known as reflected ray. That is reflected ray. No, Hafsa, don't leave the pages. You can write uh, these questions first, then afterwards you can attempt your further questions. This is called reflection of light. This is how you are going to maintain your blank page. You will show the um, reflection of light very properly over there. Okay, hurry up class. Hurry up, fast. First we will make smooth surface, then we will make a light ray. We can call that light ray as incident ray. Then we can show the bouncing back of the same ray. The bouncing back of light will be, would be known as reflection of light. And the light rays which has been bounced, that would be known as the reflected ray. Before reflection, it was incident. Now it is reflected. Okay. Now, Beta, if you are having the space on the same page, you can do your next question over there, okay? Define magnifying glass and an image. Then, after writing the question, put the heading off magnifying glass malahim beta we don't have much time uh, just leave the page if you haven't uh, completed your diagram over there just write just be with me do question number seven this uh, video would be available you can redraw your diagram then okay Hamad, don't make sunshine as you're asking. Uh, just make the diagram as I have drawn because that is simple, okay? Yes, yes, yes. You can do question number seven on the same page, Aliza. Okay, write down the definition of magnifying glass. A magnifying glass has a convex lens. What does it have? It has a convex lens which is used to make small objects appear bigger. A magnifying glass is, uh, has a convex lens which is used, which is used 
to make small objects appear bigger. Hurry up, class. A magnifying glass has a convex lens which is used to make small objects appear bigger. Very good, Aisha. Very good. Okay, Irma, just wait, beta. Let me complete question number seven, then I'm going to unmute you. Am I clear, Iraj? Beta, I am speaking louder and louder. Okay, now put another uh, put another heading that is image. Put another heading that is image. Now write down the definition of image over here. Light rays which pass through a lens form an image. Light rays which pass through a lens form an image. Write the spelling of form very correctly or properly. This is F-O-R-M. Nobody will write it as, as from. Okay, that is form. Light rays which pass through a lens form an image. Things reflected by a mirror is called an image. Things reflected by a mirror is called an image. Come on. Question number seven is define magnifying glass and image. Then we are supposed to put the heading of magnifying glass. A magnifying glass has a convex lens which is used to make small objects appear bigger. Well done, Ishmael. Good. Well done, Aisha. Okay, beta, your writing should not be disturbed. Your writing should not be untidy, okay? Don't be so fast. Please keep your writing neat and clean. Light rays which pass. Uh, okay, now write down the uh, definition of image. I hope you have done it. Light rays which pass through a lens form an image. Things reflected by mirror is called an image. Very good. Done. Very good. Here is the question number six. Okay. Now show me your work, everyone. Show me your work. Irma, you wanted to say something. Where is Irma? Very good. Well done. Tehzi, beta, your incident uh, ray and the light ray should be perfect, okay? With the proper angle. Irma. Yes, Irma, speak up. Miss. Yes. Miss. Yes, yes, speak up. 
मिस वो कौन सी कॉपी में करना है बेटा यू आर हैविंग योर कॉपी वन यू आर सपोज मिस माय मिस माय कॉपी वन इज कंप्लीटेड कंप्लीटेड यू नीड टू परचेज अनदर वन ओके आई कैन नॉट अलाउ यू टू डू द वर्क इन द कॉपी टू बिकॉज़ यू मस्ट हैव टू ऑफ द कॉपीज मस्ट कीप टू ऑफ द कॉपीज पैरेलल सो वन आई वुड बी हैविंग अनदर यू वुड बी हैविंग If it is completed or filled, you need to buy another. Okay, miss. Okay, beta. Thank you, miss. Okay, now uh, mute yourself. Okay. Is there anyone who wants to ask some of the uh, some question? Okay, diagram. Dikha do. Who is asking? Yes. Uh, show me the diagrams of convex lens and concave lens now. Very good, Tahzeeb. Now it is okay. Yes, uh, Barida. Show me your copy. Where's your copy? You are not having your copy. Yes, Barida. Speak up. Miss, I didn't make it. Uh, but you have, you have done question, question answers which we have done. Uh, we were conducting in class today. Have you done them? Six, seven done. Okay, Four, show, five, me. show me. Six, Very seven. good, Taha. Now it is uh, really neat and clean and okay. Taha, uh, be very careful. Your mid one line would uh, should be straight. 